Just prior to WrestleMania 40, Roman Reigns has officially announced that he is retiring from WWE. We have full coverage on this late breaking news. This announcement from Roman Reigns is not connected to the tweet that you may have heard about where supposedly Roman said in a any Legends biography that he was going to leave if he lost his title to Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 40. The person who posted that tweet admitted that it was a hoax and that Roman never said that in the biography. However, days later at the WWE Hall of Fame, Roman Reigns did actually make a shocking announcement about his future in WWE. We will get into the full details of Roman's shocking announcement in just a moment. But first, Roman Reigns' cousin, The Rock, had several shocking moments of his own just prior to WrestleMania 40 at the Hall of Fame ceremony. Many fans may have missed it because it went until 1.30 a.m., on the East Coast, and by that time, many fans in the arena had left. There were only maybe two or 3,000 people left to see The Rock induct his grandmother into the WWE Hall of Fame, and the fans who left missed an awkward moment where The Rock took time away from inducting his grandmother into the Hall of Fame to confront Cody Rhodes and there were more awkward moments. The Rock was confronted by an angry Cody fan, and The Rock was stunned that this fan said such mean and hurtful things, and The Rock said some curse words back to him. And another awkward moment involving The Rock at the Hall of Fame was when The Rock was out of character, and he was accepting a People's Championship belt from the widow of Muhammad Ali, and fans in Philly decided to boo The Rock while he was standing next to the widow of Muhammad Ali. And The Rock was obviously caught off guard because he was embarrassed, and The Rock was obviously flustered by the chorus of boos. But the most shocking moment of the night came from The Rock's cousin, Roman Reigns, as he made a very surprising, and some say upsetting, announcement. WrestleMania 40 is underway, and obviously there are going to be two nights of seeing Roman Reigns in action. The first night, he will be in a tag match alongside his cousin, The Rock, and they will be taking on the team of Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. If Roman Reigns and The Rock win, then the next night, the one-on-one -on -one match between Cody and Roman will be a no-rules match. And obviously, the bloodline will interfere and try to cause Cody to lose. However, if in that tag match, Cody and Seth win, then the bloodline will be barred from ringside and they cannot interfere and it will be a true one-on-one -on -one match with Roman and Cody. Right now, it looks like The Rock and Roman will win that tag match. So, the next night, with Cody versus Roman, it will be anything goes. And that is not a good sign for Cody. But there could be even worse signs for Roman Reigns. Very soon, SmackDown will be leaving the Fox network in the United States and they will be heading to the USA Network on cable. And it could be that executives at the USA Network want a full-time world champion, much like Seth Rollins is a full-time champion on Raw. He may not wrestle every week, but at least he appears almost every week. Whereas Roman Reigns, prior to the road to WrestleMania, barely made appearances on WWE TV and even missed several pay-per-views in 2023. So it could be that the USA Network has given WWE their opinion 
on who should win the match between Cody and Roman and who they want to be champion. And it could be that they want Cody Rhodes because at least with Cody, you know that he's going to be on the show almost every week and he will wrestle at every pay-per-view. Whereas Roman Reigns in 2024, with his contract, you know that he is going to miss several pay-per-views and he will barely be on TV, especially after WrestleMania. So that could be a sign of trouble ahead for Roman Reigns. And Roman could be very scared right now of the possible bad things to come after WrestleMania. Now, the manager of Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, and Roman Reigns did the honors of inducting the wise man. However, during Roman's induction speech for Paul Heyman, we saw a different side of Roman. We saw Roman be a nice, caring, loving person, a loving friend to Paul Heyman. Roman Reigns broke character, and Roman Reigns did something else that shocked fans and the wrestling world. Roman Reigns made a surprising announcement. Here is exactly what Roman Reigns said at the Hall of Fame. The moment I'm not with the wise man, Paul Heyman, is the moment you won't see the tribal chief anymore. Roman basically saying, if Paul Heyman leaves, I leave. And this comes just days after that tweet that was a hoax. But now we're basically hearing the same exact thing that was in that fake tweet. But now it's real. Roman has revealed when he is leaving WWE, he is leaving when Paul Heyman leaves. And when could that be? Could it be tomorrow, after WrestleMania? When will it be? Well, with what Roman said, basically saying he's going to retire very soon, because Paul Heyman, as we know, was born in 1965. He is 58 years old, nearing 60. He has a family, and at some point, either WWE is going to say goodbye to Paul Heyman, or Paul Heyman's going to retire himself. And then... The day that Paul Heyman leaves, Roman Reigns has said that he will leave as well. WWE officials have to be scrambling and doing major damage control after Roman, by all accounts, went off script and ad-libbed this line about leaving when Paul Heyman leaves. And Paul Heyman himself teared up during his speech, possibly after hearing this news that Roman would leave when he leaves. What are your thoughts about the shocking announcement from Roman Reigns about leaving WWE? Leave a comment and give me your opinion.